Yo boys, today we're gonna talk about 5 things that everyone should know about CarX Drift Racing Online. CarX is one of the few drifting games that we have out there. I wish we had more drifting games, but we don't. Anyway, let's start. Number 1. Cross-Platform Support so back in the day CarX started out as a mobile game. The game was performing really good and they decided to move to Steam to expand to PC users. So now there are two versions of CarX, one for mobile players and one for PC players. Although these two versions are essentially the same game, mobile and PC users kind of play with each other in the same servers. The developers, seeing how well the game performs in mobile and PC, they wanted to expand their game even more. Nowadays there are even two mobile versions out there. There is CarX Street Racing 1 and there is CarX Street Racing 2. They have also added console support for PlayStation and Xbox players. Unfortunately for a very long time console players had a very weird experience joining the servers since only one console type could join the server at the same time. I know it sounds weird. So if a PC player made a server and an Xbox player and a PlayStation player tried to join that same server, then only one console player could join the PC player, whichever joined first. So Xbox couldn't play with PlayStation players and vice versa. But that is not a problem anymore, as they have recently fixed this issue so PC, Xbox and PlayStation players can all play in the same servers without any issues. But keep in mind that both mobile versions of CarX are still unable to play with PC or console players. So mobile CarX games are completely separate games. So to sum it up, CarX nowadays is very accessible to everyone, whichever device you are using to play your game with. Number 2. Device Support You can play CarX with keyboard, controllers and steering wheels. Obviously not on the mobile versions though. So drifting with a keyboard in CarX is easy and you can easily tandem with other players nicely. Now controller. Controller is smoother than keyboard and this is what most pro players in CarX use. Now steering wheels with all the assists turned off however is extremely difficult since the physics are a bit on the arcade side. To compare the difficulty, Acero Corsa, a game with proper sim physics, is easier to drift in than CarX with a wheel. Now this doesn't mean that you can't drift with no assist wheel in CarX. You just can't be on the same level as controller players. Controller in CarX is always gonna be smoother and easier than a wheel. Unless you use a wheel with assist. You can be pretty smooth with a wheel if you use assist but then you steer the opposite direction as you would in real life so it doesn't make any sense. And back in the day I played CarX for over a year on the keyboard as well. Then I switched to PlayStation controller and yes you can use PlayStation controller on a PC. Then I started playing CarX with Logitech G29 wheel and now I am using Thrustmaster T300 RS GT steering wheel instead. If you play with a G29 in CarX then you can get an eBay handbrake for like 75 bucks or something. You can simply plug it in with a USB and it works pretty decent. The Thrustmaster T300 however has its own handbrake which you can use. It costs a bit more but for example you can set it up way closer to your wheel so it's easier to pull. But you can even use the eBay handbrake with the Thrustmaster wheels. eBay handbrake is completely separate, works with any build. Number 3. Mods. CarX has a lot of mods out there, however only PC players can use mods. For example we can swap engines in cars with mods. We can't do that by default yet, maybe someday they will add this feature, who knows. You can also switch to nighttime and enable blinkers and headlights. There is a nighttime DLC available as well in the game, it costs a couple of bucks which can turn a whole server into a nighttime for all the participants in the server. Mods typically only impact your screen not the other players. Another cool mod you need to know is the GOATS map loader. This enables you to use modded tracks and you can play there with other players as well, as long as they have the map and the mod themselves as well. There are also Steam Workshop mods. You can just subscribe to a mod in Steam and this will replace an in-game car with a completely different car that is not in the game. However, this only changes the appearance of the car, not the performance. Listen, some of these Steam Workshop mods are pretty weird as well. For example, this big head on wheels. Number 4. CarX Street Developers of CarX are working on a new game called CarX Street. It was supposed to release in 2020, but got delayed for a year and the new release date is at the end of 2021. So right now they are fixing bugs and adding new features on the existing CarX game. Plus, they are developing a new game at the same time. So they definitely have their hands full at the moment. The new game, the CarX Street, is gonna be a game based on the original CarX but inspired by Need for Speed. 
the new game will have both creep racing and rifting options. It's gonna be like one big open world map, just like the Need for Speed games we're used to. And this is a very anticipated drifting game right now, since we don't have a lot of drifting games overall, you know? So let's hope for the best. Number 5. Join the events. Listen, if you just play in single player or you join random servers just to drift around, then you have only scratched the surface of Carax. There is so much more to Carax. If you really want to get deep into the community, you can keep an eye on Carax streamers on Twitch for example. You can look at the titles, sometimes you will see like formula drift events going on, drag races, police chases, all sorts of interesting events streamers do there. You can always ask the streamers live as well, like how do you join the event, and you can make new friends this way as well. Plus this allows you to join like Carax teams as well. Most Carax teams usually stream their sessions in Twitch as well. Carax overall has a pretty positive community and welcomes new streamers and players with open hands. Unless you're a rammer. We don't like rammers. Carax category on Twitch is also one of the best categories if you're planning on starting your streaming career. There are a lot of viewers but at times there are not many streamers to watch. So you can easily get discovered and grow your own streams there especially if you're organizing like unique events for the viewers to join. And I stream on Twitch as well if you guys wanna hop by, link is in the description. Number 6. You need to subscribe to Goosiest. Everyone knows that this will make you a better Carax player instantly. Guaranteed. So boys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, like, subscribe, and as always, stay sideways. Uh, if you don't speak, then you won't get spoken to. People only see you when you up, then they notice you. Trying to be a legend, crazy lines is quotable. Only the real shall last, and I only know a few. People when they feelings always acting emotional. Ain't about a check, then it's